The Jurassic franchise has grown over the past decade, but there's something about the 2020s which has proven to be more special than before. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World video. Today we're going to be covering everything that is set to release in this decade for the Jurassic franchise. Whether that be video games, movies and even series, we've got it all covered in this video. Along with some exclusives you might be excited to hear about. With the relaunch of the franchise back in 2015 with Jurassic World, we entered a new era of Jurassic. An era that brought us three movies, two films and two animated series so far, along with a few major video game releases as well. But this decade, the 2020s, it's proven to be bigger than the 10s, as we have so much more to look forward to. A lot of which is coming within the next two years as well. So buckle down for today's video as you're not going to want to miss a single minute of it. We've been covering heaps of Jurassic World Chaos Theory content here on the channel lately, so please feel free to check out our previous videos as they seem to be unfortunately severely underperforming. Which is a great shame because there's a lot of very interesting lore and informative details in those videos. We're also aiming for 250,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so if you haven't already done so, I highly recommend pressing that subscribe button as you'll then be able to stay up to date on all of the games and movies that we'll be discussing in this video once we know more about them in the future. But for now, once you're ready, sat back and enjoying your G Fuel after using code SWERVE, it's time to learn about every major media that's releasing for the Jurassic franchise this decade. So the 2020s has actually, you know, it may not have started well when it came to the COVID pandemic and <laughs> delay in Jurassic World Dominion, but the 2020s so far, we're almost halfway through this decade, has been very good for the Jurassic franchise. What have we got so far in regards to major releases? Well, of course, we got the animated series which kicked off this decade on September 18th, 2020, which was called Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. We had five seasons of this fantastic show, Unfortunately, season 4 and season 5 may have let it down a little bit, but season 3 undoubtedly is just truly remarkable and it's a fantastic series up until season 3. Either way, this series ran between 2020 and 2022, almost two years in length. And we got five animated seasons, which is just incredible to think of in the space of one and three quarters of a year. But following on from 2020, we then had Jurassic World The Prologue in 2021, which is our second short film after Jurassic World Battle of Big Rock. This is essentially the opening for the extended edition for Jurassic World Dominion, where we have the segment in the Cretaceous period and also when Rexy invades a cinema screening. But also in 2021, we had the release and the announcement of Jurassic World Evolution 2, which was the sequel of the hit video game Jurassic World Evolution which again, loads of people were anticipating and wanting for many, many years as 2019 seemed to be the very end of Jurassic World Evolution 1's life cycle. So it was very good to see the Evolution sequel release in 2021. Soon after that, in 2022, we got Jurassic World Dominion, which again was the sixth movie of the franchise. This movie did such a fantastic job in finalizing both the park era of the stories, the world era of the stories, the individual stories, and a single story in Dominion, as well as setting up numerous amounts of future stories for the Jurassic franchise as well. Overall, in my opinion, I think Jurassic World Dominion was incredible and did exactly what it was set out to do. But that's how we kicked off the 2020s in this decade. Unfortunately, 2023, despite it being the 30th anniversary for Jurassic Park, it was a big letdown. <laughs> it's very safe to say that Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary was a incredible, a massive letdown and the fans aren't really going to forgive Universal for that because I still see people talking about it to this day of how bad 2023 was for the Jurassic franchise. We literally got absolutely nothing despite it being a major anniversary celebration year. So there's that. However, now we move on to more recent times and this is 2024. So far, what have we got in 2024? Well, at the end of 2023, we did technically get the announcement of Jurassic World Chaos Theory and that it would be releasing in 2024. And so far, it has. As I record this video right now in early July, we have one season of Chaos Theory released and a second one on the way in just a couple of months' time. However, I do suspect we'll be getting at least three seasons of Chaos Theory and the third season will probably be the one that will be entering into the year of 2025. But at least we know we have Chaos Theory Season 1 and Season 2 releasing in 2024. 
So we already have a major animated series, which the first season was, um, again, just amazing, incredible. And we've kickstarted 2024 quite all right, to be fair. Season one was very good. We had a good lead up to Chaos Theory. The start of the year may not have been great, but the season one was good enough to make sure that 2024 was a good year. However, as we do discuss 2025 with a potential third season of Chaos Theory releasing in that year, we do know that what's coming in 2025 is Jurassic 7. The seventh movie of the franchise was confirmed at the start of 2024. We already confirmed on this channel way back in 2020 that a brand new movie will be happening after Dominion, and we did suspect it would be a 2025 release date. And it's so nice to see that we have Gareth Edwards being the director on this brand new movie coming next year. We're less than a year away from it now, and this time next year, we'll be talking about all of the easter eggs and what we saw from the movie, and what we liked and everything, it's gonna be so good. So, as we reach the halfway point of the 2020s, we've already had a lot. Five seasons of Camp Cretaceous, a Jurassic World short film, Jurassic World Evolution 2, Jurassic World Dominion, three seasons possibly of Chaos Theory, and a brand new movie. That just makes you think, what more is there to come? Well, buckle down and get ready for this. Right at the start of May of 2024, we got some brand new information that suggests that Jurassic World Evolution 3 is on the way. Now, we know it is releasing up to the fiscal year of 2026, which means the latest release date for Jurassic World Evolution 3 will be March of 2026. With the brand new movie coming in 2025, I highly suspect that Jurassic World Evolution 3 will be also coming in 2025 as well. So not only will we have Jurassic 7, but we'll also have a third evolution game, a third Jurassic World park builder. Now again, this is all but officially confirmed for now, and with the life cycle of Jurassic World Evolution 2 now over, it seems ever so likely they're turning their attention to Jurassic World Evolution 3 for 2025. But staying in the year of 2025 and moving on to the very end of it, we have the potential release of Jurassic Park Survival, a long-awaited video game that fans have been wanting since 2003. We wanted a first-person survival horror game from Jurassic Park for such a long time now. And whilst we did get the VR experience of Jurassic World Aftermath, it just wasn't available for everyone else, and it wasn't quite what the fans wanted. After we got Jurassic Park 3 Survival cancelled and Jurassic World Survivor cancelled, we finally have Jurassic Park Survival confirmed to be happening with an announcement trailer and hopefully a very late 2025 release just before Christmas. And that is everything that's officially confirmed so far. However, when we move into the years of 2027, 2028, and 2030, we may have a lot more to expect from this franchise than we initially thought. Now, I need to say this, take this with a pinch of salt. It seems like a Jurassic World live action series is on the way. I know, I know, it's crazy, no official confirmation just yet, but there are some internal rumors floating about that a Jurassic World live action series is wanted by both Universal and Amblin, and they fully intend to make this series actually happen. Back in 2019, it was canned. We had a brand new Jurassic World live action series, not really officially confirmed, but they just decided not to roll with it. But with the success of all six movies, plus the seventh movie coming in 2025, plus how good the video games are doing, and the animated series, it seems like now Universal have changed their mind and they have full intent to release Jurassic World's first ever live action series. Now as for the release dates, there's not really much that I've been told, there's not been much that other sources have been told, it just seems like there's a chance it could release between 2026 and 2027. There were some other sources that tweeted this online over on Twitter as well, so it's not just me that's hearing this. It's very exciting, but again, you know, things change in the movie industry and the movie business, so please take this with a pinch of salt. But from what we are being told, it does seem like Universal have the full intent to release a live-action Jurassic World series, potentially between the years of 2026 and 2027. Not only this, but a few years back, we did get some kind of insider news that two Jurassic World movies are set to be made after Jurassic World Dominion. At this point in time, we only have Jurassic 7 confirmed. However, the internal rumours are floating about once again that Jurassic 8 is set to release in 2028 as well. Now again, please take that with a massive pinch of salt because this is only going off some very, very early rumours that we got back in 2022. So again, take that with a pinch of salt, 
but I do believe that Jurassic 8 will only happen depending on the reception that we get for Jurassic 7. But if it were to happen, it will be releasing in the year of 2028. And after this, we're not entirely too sure. Maybe 2031 will kick off the decade where we have another Jurassic movie in Jurassic 9 to complete this brand new trilogy of Jurassic movies. But after this, anything could happen. We might even have Jurassic World Evolution 4. All we know so far is that the 2020s does seem very, very bright for Jurassic. So far, we've had Camp Cretaceous, Jurassic World The Prologue, Jurassic World Evolution 2, Jurassic World Dominion, Jurassic World Chaos Theory, and also we've had confirmed Jurassic 7, Jurassic World Evolution 3, and Jurassic Park Survival. The things to take with a pinch of salt is the new Jurassic World live action series and Jurassic 8. But after that, we don't really know. But either way, I am still very excited for what the future may hold for Jurassic in the 2030s. So, yeah, the 2020s seem to be a the 2020s seems to be already the biggest period for the Jurassic franchise, as we have already acquired so many titles for the franchise as we approach the halfway point of this decade. Only time will tell with whatever more we may uncover as time goes on, and we get closer to 2030. Wow, actually when I think about it, that's a very weird year to talk about. I'll be 29 years old during that year. Oh man. <laughs> okay, before I have a crisis, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you stay up to date on all of the new information about this franchise as we go through the years to come. As you can see, you're not going to want to miss any of this. But for now, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.